What is the dribble step and how to train it? Also, can you finish with one hand layup while there is pressure on your inside hip and shoulder? All of these are doubled up by dribbling training in a powerful method that will help you to reach perfect timing and form ready for your game. Coming in a bit, stay tuned. We are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia, and we welcome you to our Skill Enhancement section. Let's take it one by one. The dribble step is the ability to dribble the ball with the outside hand at the same time or a fraction of a second before the opposite leg touches the floor. This is the most important skill that any player can achieve in terms of perfect timing, and is reserved only for the best players that ever played the game. It brings a tremendous advantage, as it is impossible to read a player who decides to continue the dribble or not at the last moment, in contrast with a poor quality unsynchronized action which creates only trouble. Our exercise will focus on dribbling two balls alternatively, which will force you to dribble the ball with perfect timing in a natural way, as your brain will fine-tune your dribbling pace not to hit any of your legs. Together with the advantage of learning the dribble step timing, you'll also train your dribbling technique as it is not easy to use two balls if you drive with your highest speed. Also, you'll pick up one ball, so you'll need to finish with one hand only, which at the beginning will put you in relative trouble until you'll get used. As you progress, make sure your finish will not be limited to an underhand layup only, so we suggest adding a reverse one-hand layup too. The next step is to mix up your finishing steps, so you should go for one-step layups, and reverse combined with the two steps ones. Right and left are a must, and I believe I don't need to remind you as mandatory for your full development. Another benefit of this exercise is that you'll finish with some relative pressure on the inside part of your body, created by the picked up ball, which can simulate a light contact. You'll notice that right before the finish, you'll pull back the ball you keep tight to you, and this will create a full body stretch, that will help you finish with the arm fully extended. Try it, and you'll see that we are right. We cannot tell you how long you should stay on this exercise, as everyone's level is different, but we can tell you should challenge yourself beyond your limits, as this is the only way to go up. So use your maximum dribbling and driving speed, Finish on both sides with a layup and a reverse one, and when you can do it mix one with two steps finishes. Give it a try as we are sure you'll love it, and let us know how it was, or ask us anything else you need to understand, and we promise to get back with a quick answer. Also check those videos up here, as we'll make miracles for your growth. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and if you did, please give us a thumb up, and if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell, so you'll not lose anything.